Thank you, Ellen. Cindy? Good afternoon. And I want to check and make sure my microphone's okay. Okay. Thank you. Aqua really appreciates the opportunity to be at this table today and provide comments for you. As you may know, we were very involved back in 2009 in the creation of the package. And as Alf said, it, it is a package. SB 71X uh, was the bill that created the council, but it was part of a package with other bills as well. We supported that package and supported the creation of the co-equal goals. We think that was a very um, helpful foundation for your work. As you know, we have actively participated in your process, and we greatly appreciate the council's uh, consideration of our comments and staff's consideration of our comments. As um, Council Member Gray noted, you know, it's not just the creation of the law, it's not just the creation of the plan. The implementation, obviously, is a critical phase of this work, and that's why we're all here today. We have a few suggestions in this area, and I'm going to focus on three different topics. One, the implementation committee, two, the science, and three, the comprehensive approach. So on the implementation committee, um, this is exciting. We think it's critical, and we would suggest that you get it up and running as soon as it can be up and running. We would suggest having the top people from the agencies at that table. So, for example, for the Department of Water Resources, we would suggest that it would be Director Mark Callen. When I was at Cal EPA, we had a uh, across the agencies coordinating committee on water. And when I went to those meetings, it was the Secretary of the Natural Resources Agency at the head of the table. The chair of the water board was there. The executive director was also there. Um, but you had the heads of the agencies who could make commitments for the agencies. They could make decisions there. There was nothing where somebody had to say, well, i got to go back and check with my boss and come back. They could speak for the agency right there. So that's what we would suggest. We'd also um, suggest, and I'm sure you're intending on doing this, it's sort of obvious, but we would suggest that you really set a tone for this committee that they should be working to deliver solutions. And agencies can work together and solve problems. I, that was a lot of my job when I was an undersecretary at Cal EPA. It takes a lot of work and goodwill, um, but it can be done. And so we would suggest that that be the tone, that they will focus on delivering solutions. It may be helpful to have a good facilitator at these <coughs> meetings to move things along. Um, and, and get to those kinds of solutions. We'd suggest that you pick a small number of specific issues or projects that they should work on, not have such a big list of issues that they don't accomplish anything. Really focus on some important key areas. Uh, one example that might be a good one to work on is water transfers. And the reason uh, we mention that one is that Water transfers can help the state achieve the co-equal goals. For us to get there, you've got to have water where you need it at the right times. And being able to move water can help the state do that. Um, right now, the, the process gets bogged down. The transaction costs are very high. To solve those issues, it's going to take multiple agencies working together. This is the perfect opportunity for this implementation committee. So that's an example of one project that could be worked on. So those are our suggestions relative to the committee. Then moving on to the science, we think the science plan is critical, and I know that the council agrees with that. I'm hearing very good reports about Dr. Goodwin's leadership. I haven't had the opportunity to meet him yet, but I'm hearing very good reports. And I wanted, just as an example, uh, that's a little bit off the Delta topic, but in my past I've done a lot of work on air quality and climate change. And I could say that uh, working with Cal EPA and the Air Resources Board, science played a critical role in the state of California getting to cleaner air. Part of it was technology development, but part of it was pure science. And there were, of course, different views on the science, but ARB looked at the different views, came together, and went forward. And what that helped them do was look at what were the different contributors to the inventory, what was causing the problems. They focused on the science, put their strategy in place based on that, 
And that resulted in real improvement that has helped all of us in California, and particularly those in the Los Angeles area, breathe a lot better. So people coming together with the best available science, it's, it's worth the difficult process on that. Um, it, it can really achieve results. Now, the council is looking at the concept or the expression, one delta, one science. And I think that approach sounds really good on its face. We would uh, offer some cautions on that and some thoughts. Uh, we would suggest that the water community, public water agencies, and the NGOs be able to be at the table for collaboration on the science. Um, when there can be agreement on the science, that's obviously fabulous, and that helps stakeholders and the agencies all be vested in the solution. That's the ideal scenario. But we don't always get to the ideal scenario, obviously. But at a minimum, bringing the people, the scientists uh, world together to coordinate and to share information, that's a good thing in itself. And... Um, Having those robust discussions and seeing where folks can come together on the science, that will be very helpful to you. So one science is a good goal, but if, if you don't get there, don't worry. But having the robust discussions, that will help you. So those are our comments on the science. And then finally, on the comprehensive approach, this is, as you know, a consistent comment that we've made along. and all the way along, and I, I was glad to hear the water board referencing it again this morning, um, just that we need, as we work on these issues, to continue to look at all the stressors and how they affect the delta, and that's um, key to achieving the co-equal goals. So with that, I'll, I'll say Aqua wants to play a constructive role in the implementation. We look forward to working with you, and I appreciate the opportunity to be here today.